Hey guys, welcome back to this video, second part of this video um, uh, tutorial stuff uh, of uh, file associations. Um, when you have not seen part one, I highly recommend to uh, check it because we have we I um, discussed some pretty important code, actually the base code for the program. Um, so since this part is containing the registry I'm going to open up reg edit for some um, examples so let's close everything up so we'll begin where you are so computer probably is already expanded so you want to locate yourself to h key uh, classes root very important by the way um, that is this one so click on the arrow just next to it so to expand it um, and you see a couple of file extensions so just click one and type in .txt and I'll drag this one up a little bit so you can see that um, which is actually only not th this is not actually important only uh, what is actually in there um, so when you here you see default uh, text file or txt file content type and uh, perceived type uh, are not actually in need um, only this default one is pretty important so uh, here you see the value is txt file remember that um, txt file so when I type in here well I click a random uh, thing and type in t uh, oh t man txt you get up to a folder or a sub key which is called txt file so as you can see there is a kind of um, uh, how do you call it uh, there is those two are actually uh, associated with each other so they work together as one uh, big family or something uh, so this one is pretty important to expand so when you expand it you'll see default icon I'm going to cover that one too um, shell and shell ex we need shell so open that one up and there are, is going to be another containing folder called open and that contains only one folder and that's that's command and this is actually uh, the key that is locating windows to the executable so whenever a txt file has been called it's going to uh, go to shell open command and reading this default uh, key and uh, opening that up um, so uh, yeah so we're going to create our own uh, thing let's call this one uh, uh, <coughs> YouTube or something um, we're going to do this in the program so you don't because you don't wanna use the registry editor to uh, associate your own program with a specified file type you want to do this uh, you want the application to do this for you so whenever you're uploading this to the internet the people that downloaded this program also doesn't have to do that manually um, so I'm going to uh, put this in front so it will every time when it's going to be starting up it will do that so it will every so it will always be actually the the only application that is given access to it well you can change it but whenever you are going to open this program again program again it's going to be set it to this program so we're going to write to the registry. I made a tutorial on it. I'm just going to be easier right now. So I'm going to type in my computer dot registry and then got classes root. Root classes root is really important. When you go back to registry editor and go up, you'll see H key classes root. So we need this one. So then H key classes root dot create sub key. So uh, sub key as string and that is going to be the file name so YouTube so the extension will be dot YouTube now close the bracket I'm going to type in underscore because um, otherwise 
uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, oh, otherwise, uh, I can't put it into one screen and have to move the cam recorder every time. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the screen recorder. So I'm going to use the underscore for this one. Um, so I'm going to type in dot. You you probably have to put it right behind the uh, bracket. So and then set value. Okay, so now you see value name as string. Maybe you want to type in default, but it's not right. Um, it's wrong actually. You have to leave this one clearly, clear, clear, nothing in it. Just quote, quote with nothing between it. Um, so it will be uh, named. Um, so name is going to be default. So now the content. Um, which is going to be a YouTube file so beware you remember this one well it's right in front of us so we can't lose it actually so now we are going to write um, in the registry um, the uh, how do you call it the folder actually uh, make sure by the way that you have a period or dot right behind uh, right in front of it uh, because otherwise it won't be an extension so um you have to put it in there so now let's get back to it uh let's get back to this by the way so the sub key as string is going to be the same um as you put in above here so youtube file now slash shell slash command no i mean open slash command let's put an underscore in there command ah uh, well it's got all crazy and stuff um, just um, just for you to make it better to see and follow man I mean ah oh, man you, you must be kidding like that so uh, actually the file path is just going to be uh, YouTube file shell open and then command um, oh now we are going to close it with the bracket and again setting a value set value um, again it's going to be empty and now the path is not going to be a string you type in application dot executable path executable path that is actually it so you can't do this when you are actually you can't use this one if you are using a command uh, or a console I mean well you can have but you have to mess with the preferences and I I don't like it because it gets maybe too confusing for you um, so this is it for the registry part um, I forgot something by the way um, because let's get back to registry editor and then txt file um, and then command you will see here a present one sign I don't know if you are common with batch coding or the command prompt or DOS um, either way uh, the present one is a command line uh, command which is returning the path so which is returning a path of something that is dropped onto a file so when you have a bad file and including that bad file echo present one uh, echo is the, then for writing a line into the console and then present one is going to be something uh, when you drag when you save that file and drag another file on it on the batch file uh, the command line will open up and showing you the path of the current file you dropped on it and that is really important because we want to use this one too so we can retrieve the path of the uh, used uh, extend a uh, file so we're going to add the present one so add or and uh, pr uh, quote and then uh, space present one shift five one um, make sure you have a space there because the application path is not returning a space after it. Uh, so you, if you if you don't know, do this, you have the application path, and then right behind it, uh, this one. So it will get not 
uh, well, I don't think that will work. Um, seeing at the time, uh, I'm finished, but I am over 10 minutes, so I really have to stop. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Um, make sure you uh, visit the next part, which is covering the icon and actually finishing off everything. So thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you in the next part.